Welcome to the lecture series of Basic Civil Engineering. In this lecture, we will see about classification of surveying. Let us start with outline of this session. In this session, we will discuss about classification of surveying. So let us start it. First, we will see classification of surveying based on instrument used. First is chain surveying. Chain surveying is simplest type of surveying in which only linear measurements are taken by all these equipments, all these equipments like chain, tap, wooden peg, etc. Here any angular measurement are not taken. The next is compass survey. In compass survey, the angular measurements are taken with the help of compass like prismatic compass and surveyor's compass. The next is plane table survey. In the plane table survey, the field measurement and plotting is done simultaneously with such equipment which is called plane table. The next is theodolite survey. Theodolite is very versatile equipment which is used for measurement of horizontal and vertical angle very accurately. The next is tachymetric survey. In the tachymetric survey, the special kind of theodolite which is called tachymeter is used to determine the horizontal and vertical distance indirectly. The next is EDM surveying. In EDM surveying, all kind of measurement means length, angle, coordinates are taken with the help of EDM equipment like total station. The next is aerial surveying. In aerial surveying, the measurement of area is taken by some new technology from the air. The next is photogrammetric survey. Photogrammetric survey is the science of taking measurement with the help of photograph which are taken by aerial camera from the aircraft. So this is the classification of survey based on the equipment use. Now let us see the classification of survey based on method adopted. Very first method that is triangulation survey. Triangulation is a basic method of surveying. In this method, the area is divided in different triangulars. When the large area is there, this kind of survey is adopted. The entire area is divided in triangles, you can say network of triangle and all the angles are measured along with only one length that is baseline. In the next method, that is second method, it is called traversing method. The traversing method is the circuit of survey line. Traverse is a close or open figure which is made up of series of connected lines. When the linear measurement are done with the help of chain and tape and direction are measured with the angle by compass or theodolite, this kind of survey is used. This is called Traverse survey. The next classification of survey is, ba is based on the purpose of survey. First one is geological survey. In this survey, surface and subsurface survey are conducted to locate different minerals and rock. In addition to that, different geological features of terrain like fold, fort are located. The next survey is mine survey.
Mine survey include both surface and underground survey. It is conducted for the exploration of mineral deposit and to guide tunneling and other operation associated with mining. The next is archaeological survey. It is conducted to locate the relics of antiquity, civilization, kingdom, fort, template, temples, etc. The next is military survey. Military survey has a very important and critical application. Aerial survey are conducted for this purpose. It is conducted to locate the points of strategic importance for the purpose of army operation. So this is the classification according to the purpose of survey. Now let us see classification of surveying based on the nature of field. First one that is land survey. Land survey is done in the land to prepare the plan and map of given area. Topographic, city, cadastral survey are some of the example of land survey. The next survey is hydrographic survey. Hydrographic survey is conducted on or near the water body like lake, river, coastal area. This survey consists of locating shore lines of water body. The next is astronomic survey. The survey, astronomic survey are conducted for the determination of latitude, longitude, azimuth, local time, etc. for various places on the earth by observing heavenly body like sun, star, etc. The next survey, fourth one, that is aerial survey. Aerial survey is conducted from aircraft, aerial camera or any other technology is used to determine different features on the earth surface. So this is the classification of survey based on nature of field. In this lecture we have seen different type of classification of surveying. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to ask anything, if you have any doubt, please write in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you very much.